Hi gang, so in this video I'm going to be doing a initial impressions of some makeup that I've been sent from Louise, my good friend. Hi Louise! Her mom made this adorable kind of bagpipes. Uh, she knitted them and it's, it's so cute. Her mom's so creative. Look at that. Look at that. I don't know where you would blow the uh, like where the mouthpiece is, I, I'm assuming here, and the, maybe, I'm assuming, have a, I've never played a bagpipe, I mean, obviously, I mean, <laughs> we've been putting this on our Christmas tree that we have, uh, this is the first time I've ever had a Christmas tree, I've been to play, been to other people's homes, but they've had their Christmas trees up, and it's just never been a tradition in my family back in Singapore. And when I came to Germany, we also, you know, we would travel to um, Martin's parents' place for Christmas. Um, and they would have the Christmas tree there. So, you know, there wasn't really a reason for us to get our own Christmas tree. So this year with COVID, we can't travel as much. So, yeah, I thought, you know, why not? There is the Christmas tree. We just put very modest kind of lights on it. And yeah, that's pretty much it. So anyway, Louise kindly got me um, a Beauty Bay 9 pan palette. This is the Fiery Matte palette. I don't have any makeup from the Beauty Bay brand. I've shopped on their website. They carry plenty of um, US brands. I've purchased a lot of Dose of Colors. I purchased a lot of Jeffree Star at the time that I was still supporting the company. Um, and Melt Cosmetics as well. Oh, and Juvia's Place. Definitely Juvia's Place. And Makeup Geek Eyeshadow Singles. So here we go. This is the Fiery Matte Palette from Beauty Bay. They look kind of like the Nine Pans from Jeffree Star as well. Uh, I mean, they have this square kind of, you know, the square pans, the, uh, the small names underneath, and this kind of form factor. I guess there's, there's only so many ways you can make a palette. And I also got this Makeup Revolution Forever Dynamic Eternal palette. And this one has a small mirror on top and then the uh, shades on the bottom. And as you can see, there is kind of a pressed glitter in here. The rest are matte and um, kind of satin shimmers, I guess. So I have dipped my hand into these palettes before because then I would have a little bit more information to go off on. I also have a pair of magnetic lashes from KISS to try out. Um, it came with the eye, um, kind of the magnetic eyeliner base, I guess. So this is the one where you put on the eyeliner and that is supposed to be attracted to the magnets on the um, lashes themselves. So I, I've heard, uh, this one did not come from Louise. I picked this up at a store. The only gripe I have with the concept of magnetic lashes. The first time magnetic lashes came out, I think it was kind of like a pair of lashes that you would um, put above and below your natural lashes to kind of clip on and those wouldn't really stay because, uh, I don't know, they would slide off your own lashes. Um, and then this other alternative um, with the eyeliner it would you know come in just the basic black for me i have quite small eyes so if i do do a liner i tend to do it very thinly and that might interfere with the ability for the lashes to adhere to my eyes louise also gifted me a couple of lipsticks one from fenty beauty and one from makeup academy i absolutely love the shades Okay, so for this look, I think I'm going to dip into both Carpe Diem and Cherry Cola and kind of mix them together and put them on the kind of outer V of my eye. I have noticed from using these shades before that they kind of, the, the shade goes on quite intensely and some of them fade just a little bit after, you know, the first second or so. Um, it's not a terrible fading but it is, it is something that I've noticed.
I'm, I'm going to try this one first, okay. Going in with this shade now. I kind of want to intensify the red on this eye, so I'm just going to go in with the brightest red in the palette. And kind of re-intensify that red. So I don't know if you can see that, but to me it looks like the red, you know, fades just a little bit after the initial kind of pack on um, application, but it's still quite bright and um, yeah, just bright. <laughs> So for the bottom lash line, I think I'm going to use another palette because all of the shades in these two palettes are very, very warm toned. I want a little bit of contrast with this look. So I'm going to go in with a gray, like a dark gray eyeshadow. This one is from the Morte palette from uh, Melt Cosmetics and this shade is Pantheon right here. So I'm going to take this shade right here. I think this is from the Jaclyn Hill Morphe pal uh, Dark Magic palette, if I'm not mistaken. And then for an extra bit of sheen, I'm going to use a Catrice single. This is their Melted Chrome. And then I'm going to blend the edges of the uh, red shade with some of the shades from this palette. This is uh, these kind of more flesh tone shades for my skin tone. Okay, so now I'm going to test out the KISS Magnetic Lashes. Uh, maybe I should curl my lashes prior to this. Actually, no. I can... Yeah, I can, I can put the aligner on because my lashes go downwards anyway. So it won't interfere with the application. And then after that formula is dry, I can go ahead and curl my own lashes and then stick on the Magnetic Lashes. I think that would make more sense. Okay, so this is the kind of applicator for the magnetic lashes. Let me get some mobility here and I usually prefer using a gel. This is very liquidy.
So I don't know if that's going to be deep enough. Um, sorry, thick enough, the line. Okay, so I think this one should be dry already. So these lashes are, ideally I would cut them down, but I'm not entirely sure how that's gonna go. If I cut them down enough, that edge might not be like any, have any sort of magnetic little spacer thing. If you can see right there, those thicker, um, squares I guess indicate where the magnets are so I would have to probably cut off an entire section like that in order to you know have it a bit shorter so I'm just gonna leave I'm just gonna try to put this on as is and whoa <laughs> So they're kind of cute. Uh, hold on. I think I need to curl my lashes. They're very easy to take off though. Okay, so I thickened up the um, liner just a little bit and I think it definitely helps the lashes to uh, have something to grab onto. It's just not something that I'm very used to and I had to adjust kind of the dimensions of the exterior just a little bit, kind of smoke the the eyeshadow a bit out, a bit out. I had to smoke the eyeshadow a little bit more uh, outwards just to kind of balance out the heaviness of the top lid. I also did line my uh, waterline with kind of a reddish type of, um, eyeliner. I still feel that um, going out and if a you know gust of wind wants to make its way up my face uh, I don't have faith that the lashes won't move. <laughs> They're still on, so... I did cut them down, I did trim them down to be a bit smaller, so let me just try to zoom you in there. Maybe you can see that? I think it's definitely more comfortable at this length than at its full length. So I kind of cut it where the next kind of magnet was. That is the segment that I cut off. So, I do like the feel of the lashes. They're very soft and they're very light and they feel a lot nicer than the, the other false lashes that I have. So I think in general, if you're a fan of black eyeliner and you're fine with, you know, putting a considerable amount, this would th this may not be thick for a lot of people. It's thick for me. I like very thin lines, but if this is fine for you, maybe this could work for you. I don't know. I'm, I'm assuming there are plenty of other brands out there that may have the same concept, but have kind of a stronger hold if that's what you need. Um, for me, I chose the kind of lightest feeling lashes and the lightest looking lashes as well. So that's that also might factor into why um, these feel a bit more stable for me because they did have more dramatic lashes. So on my lips, I have this gorgeous shade from Fenty Beauty. Thanks again so much, Louise. Um, this is the shade Spanked from their Matte Moselle, uh, I guess, product line. So it is a matte kind of lipstick and I love this shade. I think it complements me very well. I think it matches quite nicely with the eye makeup today, coincidentally. I had a shade 
almost exactly like this, I think, from L'Oreal, um, and I couldn't find it anymore. They've discontinued that particular shade. So yeah, I'm so glad that Louise, you sent this shade to me <laughs> because it worked out brilliantly. I have been searching for this perfect shade for a long time and I found it. So thank you so much, Louise. I love it. I will be repurchasing this when I run out of this lipstick. Today I'm going with no no foundation, no concealer, no powder or anything. My skin doesn't want things on top of it. Okay, so what I can say about the Fiery Matte Palette is that I do notice some fading with the punchier shades, um, even this kind of shade, this orangey shade right here, the shade right here, but it's not terrible. It's not like with subculture where it turned a completely different color. I mean, it still retains its general vibe, I, I guess. This is definitely not a palette that I would have picked up myself because I do have plenty of shades that look like this, but um, it's great that I've been able to try the formula of Beauty Base Shadows and let you know my opinions. Um, I don't think they're bad shadows. I think, you know, for the price, they're actually pretty good. They blend quite nicely. They go on quite nicely as well. The times that I have used these shades, I haven't noticed any staining in particular. So I think you're safe there. It's it's a nice budget-friendly palette to get if you are looking for some variety because I know that they have larger palettes as well um, with a variety of finishes and some are more colorful, some are more kind of within the same color family so you can go and you know click around and see what Beauty Bay has to offer. And with the Revolution palette, I think they do a decent job. Again, this is a little bit more of a budget-friendly brand. If you're looking for something kind of just basic and neutral, this probably will do it for you. Um, the shimmers aren't outstanding, but they go on nicely. There isn't an issue with them. I, I mean, they, they look just fine and you can build them up to a stronger opacity. I haven't tried the glitter shade, but I have tried the matte shades and they perform just fine as well. I have had no problems with the shades that I've tried from this palette. If this color scheme is your thing, yeah, sure, go for it. This reminds me a little bit of the Viseart kind of uh, Paris Nude uh, palette. I don't know if they have a small version, but I, th I do remember Viseart coming out with kind of like, like, a, like a soft kind of pinky nude type of palette with this kind of eight pan concept. Could you get better shimmers than this? Yes, you can. Um, but then again, for the price, I think these are perfectly fine and justifiable. So yeah, there you go. So in general, I probably wouldn't kind of off the bat recommend this for being outstanding products. But if someone were looking for something that was in a comfortable low to mid range, I guess this would be a perfectly good um, collection to explore. Um, I guess if you're a makeup enthusiast and you're looking for very unique shades, very impactful shades, formulas that are very interesting, I guess this is a bit basic. And I mean, I haven't tried their shimmer formulas, but the mattes themselves, they, they do okay. And for the Revolution palette, if you're on a budget and you kind of want similar vibes that you can get with brands like Viseart, this will work just fine. They're not better than Viseart, but they perform as they should and I don't think you will be disappointed for the price. Thank you once again, Louise, for sending me all the goodies and everything and the bagpipes, they're so cute. Um, I absolutely appreciate everything that you send. Thank you so much. So that's it from me and ciao for now.